Thank you for being with me. I'm meteorologist Brian Shields. I do want to mention tomorrow morning, uh, Easter Sunday morning, I'll be at Blessed Sacrament Cathedral in Montego Bay, and I hope to meet you all are welcome. Uh, Mass is at 9. I'll be speaking after that and uh, hopefully be able to meet you after that. Again, all are welcome. I'll see you there. We've been eating our way through Montego Bay the last uh, few days, so hopefully I'll see you uh, tomorrow morning. All right, let's get a look at what's going on. Here's the setup. We have this spin here. There is still a chance it becomes, into a, uh, it becomes a subtropical system. System, but it is a small chance that it becomes a subtropical storm. But with that there in a big area in the United States coming out of Mexico, heavy rain, flooding, a severe weather threat with these in place, that is going to give us windy weather and then a better chance of rain across the Caribbean as we get into next week, even the potential of some flooding rain. So I want to show you that in just a moment. Here's a closer and look. By the way, we had that earthquake yesterday, 4.6 in magnitude near Antigua and Barbuda. I'm monitoring that. We had that shaking over towards St. Kitts and Nevis, Saba, Stacia. Well, here's the spin well up here. Gusty winds, though, have been filtering in around these areas. So here's that spin just off to the east of Bermuda. What's going to happen, though, is as everything is stuck in place, you see this heavy rain, Texas, Oklahoma, building back toward Missouri. That's there. That's there. We have the strong winds that are going to be with us for several days to come. It's been really windy. Bahamas, Turks and Caicos, Cuba, Haiti, Dominican Republic. Uh, Jamaica, even the Cayman Islands, just because these two areas are here. Let me take you out in time and show you how this plays into our weather for the long term uh, just in a moment. There are the winds coming down kind of in between both of these areas. We'll have that for today. Now, as we go over the next couple days, this area here has a small chance of development. It is going to kind of, since nothing's steering it, it's just going to wiggle its way actually closer to us. And you see it here. Let's go a couple days out in time. This here is on Monday. There's the spin sitting just to the north of the uh, Caribbean, northeast of the Caribbean. We'll see if it becomes subtropical or not, but either way, it's sitting there. The United States, there's that front in place. We're still going to have the strong winds, but as we get into next week, with the spin here, we start to see more moisture feeding in. And I will zoom down into some of that in a second. We're going to start to see that coming in place. So let's go well out in time, deep into the upcoming week to show you what's next. Ticking ahead Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and then working our way into Thursday. Notice what happens. There's still a little bit of a spin sitting over here. Uh, not a big one anymore, but what happens is it feeds in some of that moisture from South America, Colombia, Venezuela, and look at the rain potential later in the week. Now, this is several days from now. We're looking at six, seven days from now. So we'll see five, six, seven days from now. So we'll see if this does pan out, but we do have a chance, a much better chance of rain in parts of the Caribbean once we work our way deeper into next weekend. More severe weather, more or flooding in parts of the United States, a very active pattern uh, sitting there. Now, all of this plays into that April outlook that I talked about. The green shading in here would be above average rain. Now, no, this is for April. Not a lot of us have had that yet. Some of us have been starting to get some of the rain, but seeing that we're going to get some rain later this week, that plays into what I was showing you weeks ago that we would have above average rain in April. It looks like it's going to start to uh, pan out. Doesn't mean we're going to get a ton of rain in spots, but above average rain right in through here, back toward the United States where there's that flooding. So again, this forecast has really worked out dry though in other areas. Florida back toward the Bahamas, very dry. Now as we get closer to the hurricane season, which starts June 1st, we're still gonna see above average rain in many spots, That'll be coupled with even warmer water temperatures. So then we need to see if anything does develop before the start of the hurricane season, which happens about every other year. There's a name system out there in the Atlantic Basin, the Gulf Caribbean and Atlantic uh, before the start of the hurricane season. Now, here's that closer look. Look at that spin right there, uh, just kind of up off of your screen. But that is giving us those gusty winds. Spotty showers around Costa Rica, Panama, Colombia, Venezuela. We had a couple around parts of Trinidad uh, yesterday. Still watching out for the flooding, Guyana and Suriname, right? It has been uh, active the last few days. Additional flooding will be possible. I'll show you those rain totals in a moment. As we get into Easter Sunday, Guadalupe, we may catch a shower, couple spotty showers, just watching that spin still sitting back toward the northeast of us. And then seeing this moisture starting to build in South America, parts of Central America, that's the first sign of the extra rain that we're going to start to see kind of feeding its way as we work our way into next week. Let's go another day 
out in time here to give you that forecast. As we get into a Monday, here's Monday. This spin to the north of us gets a little closer, so spotty showers will be possible, and then we'll be watching additional rain. Costa Rica, Panama, Barbados, uh, Dominica, a couple spotty showers with that spin around, so we're starting to get some more areas of rain, but as we get deeper into next week, we'll see that bigger moisture feed, and there are some hit or miss showers. Costa Rica, Nicaragua, still not a lot in Belize. A few more in Guatemala, a couple isolated showers on Monday as we work our way over toward Honduras. So here is this area we're watching for any signs of subtropical development. Uh, this storm system is just kind of sitting out there. Here's Bermuda. We have that rain clipping by the Atlantic region of Canada today, and there is that flood potential and severe weather potential for days and days to come in parts of the United States. So working our way into Sunday, you see here, still watching this right there on your screen, starting to wiggle its way a little bit closer to the uh, Caribbean. There's nothing to really steer it. This front doesn't grab it, so it actually wiggles a little bit more down to the south. Some colder air wrapping in Newfoundland by tomorrow may catch some snow showers, and then you see it there for days and days. Just several systems that will be working through uh, the central and eastern parts of the United States. This here is Monday. This area starts to work its way a little bit closer to the Caribbean, monitoring signs of development, and then this area here will be the next one rolling through uh, Quebec and Ontario, swinging back toward the Atlantic region of Canada in much of the east coast of the United States as we get into the week ahead. The seas are elevated. I mentioned the winds right away. Look at these seas, the Gulf, the Bay, over toward the Caribbean, the Atlantic, where we're seeing these greens, even some yellows popping up. We're looking at about two to three meters, so we're running seven, eight, nine, 10 plus feet in some locations right here in particular. That's where we're watching for any signs of subtropical development. This here is by Monday. Things are still pretty choppy and it builds further. Look at everything building right near the Bahamas, north coast of Haiti and the Dominican Republic and Puerto Rico. We're going to see those elevated seas as we work our way through the weekend and then right into next week. Florida, Bahamas, Cuba, we are too dry, mainly dry Jamaica over toward the Cayman Islands. Hit or miss shower storm, Dominican Republic back through Puerto Rico. That could give us a slight chance of a passing shower or two that would give us uh, generally less than 25 millimeters of rain or an inch of rain. So the rain total is not super high, but with this area to the north, that could give us a couple of those isolated showers around. Barbados, we may get one or two, but it's going to be later in the week. St. Vincent, the Grenadines, Grenada, St. Lucia, uh, Trinidad, uh, that we're going to watch out for the better chance of rain filtering in. But Guyana and Suriname, still some totals for three day totals of 100 millimeters of rain or four inches of rain. That's in addition to what we've already had for the last uh, three to four days. So more flooding and then that rain chance building Costa Rica, Panama closer to the Caribbean side. Not a lot though in Belize. Some spotty showers that we could get a few spots of 25 millimeters of rain. Parts of Guatemala over the next few days, mainly dry in uh, Mexico, uh, Yucatan and Mexico proper, but near Mexico City, a couple isolated showers and there's the rain building with that moisture feed from the Pacific sweeping in through Mexico, right through parts of Texas, that rain chance is going to get higher in some spots. So Jamaica, we're mainly dry, rain chance staying low as we swing over the next couple of days. And again, I'll see you tomorrow morning in Montego Bay, Cayman Islands, rain chance mainly nothing as we go throughout the day, but it will stay on the windy side. Rain chance stays low in Trinidad and Tobago later in the upcoming week. That's when we'll watch out for a better chance of rain. A couple passing showers the next few days in Barbados, a 30% chance. St. Lucia, we're looking at a 30% chance the next couple of days in a 20 to 30% chance of a very isolated shower in Grenada. Isolated shower, possible. St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Same thing the next two days in Martinique. Rain chance holding at 30%. It does bump up a little bit uh, early in the week. Dominica, for example, by Monday we'll see a 40% chance of a shower. 30% chance of an isolated shower as we work our way over toward Guadalupe. And that rain chance, Antigua, Barbuda uh, building some tomorrow. A 50% chance of some of those scattered showers and the windy weather. We'll do that again. St. Kitts and Nevis tomorrow. 50% chance and a 40% chance on Monday. And again, monitoring that earthquake activity from that 4.6 magnitude earthquake we had in Antigua, Barbuda, near Antigua, Barbuda yesterday that we felt in many spots, felt that in St. Kitts and uh, Nevis. And Gwilla and St. Bart's, higher chance of those scattered showers uh, tomorrow. Same thing, St. Martin, St. Stacia, that area just to the north, spinning in the Atlantic, will help to draw in some more showers. Puerto Rico, the next couple of days, we have scattered showers and thunderstorms. If you get a thunderstorm, we could see isolated areas of flooding. There could be a few slides in watching some of those uh, 
Delta rivers, uh, U.S. and British Virgin Islands, about a 50% chance of some fast moving showers through the day today. Swinging back through the Bahamas, though, we're mainly dry, mainly dry the next few days as we work our way back through the Turks and Caicos rain chance at about 20%. The Dominican Republic, a 40% chance of a shower or storm today and a 30% chance tomorrow. Just a 20% chance for tomorrow in Haiti, mainly dry as that rain chance has been dropping off. Belize will bump up a little bit over toward Hopkins and Ladyville once we work our way into Monday. Could get a couple passing showers. Aruba, Carousel, Bonaire, rain chance stays on the low side, but we'll see how that moisture feeds in as we get into the upcoming week. There's the elevated chance of rain at least the next three days in Guyana. 70% chance tomorrow uh, and Monday in Suriname. Watching out for additional flooding. Please be mindful of that. It's still coming down. Cuba, we're mainly on the dry side the next few days. Rain chance 40% today in Costa Rica and Panama does build closer to the Caribbean starting tomorrow. 30 to 40% chance in Nicaragua mainly dry the next couple of days as we work our way back through Honduras. 30% chance of a shower today, Guada, uh, Guatemala and El Salvador, building a little bit by the uh, early portions of the week. We're mainly dry in Mexico City. Monday, though, an isolated shower, a 30% chance, mainly dry across the uh, Yucatan Peninsula, and about a 40 to 50% chance of rain. Northern Colombia, it's going to get higher into the upcoming week with that rain that will be lifting in. Northern Venezuela, we'll see that rain chance going up as well next week. In Bermuda, uh, watching that area, uh, just off toward the south uh, east, uh, just kind of hanging out there. So we're in between systems at this uh, time. So that large spin in the Atlantic, only a low chance it does develop, but it will help bring more rain, especially deeper into the upcoming week with that active period ahead. We are now 43 days away from the start of hurricane season. I hope you're doing well. Have a good day ahead.